guys, it's Jill. So, uh, the holidays, I guess, are still going on because Christmas may have come and go, but New Year's is still around the corner. And I thought I would share with you what I got uh, for Christmas and possibly, if I have time, what I've gotten for Boxing Day. Um, so, I was very good. Uh, I got a lot of good stuff from people. Uh, Santa was very lucky. <laughs> Santa was very nice to me. Um, I got these gorgeous little Levion Rose um, pajamas and they have a little reindeer on them and they're really cute and cozy and um, yeah I'm just gonna be probably wearing them all day today um, so I guess that's the first thing I got um, something I got with uh, someone I co-work with um, is this cute little mailbox it's a little mailbox and inside it is a bunch of candy canes and um, this trio from uh, Bath and Body Works. It is in the pink sugar plum, and it's a body wash, uh, body lotion, and spray. And as well, I got this kind of ornament uh, by Hard Candy. That's a lip gloss. So, uh, oh, I can't read. I'm not sure if it is a color. It's just like a pink sparkle. Um, yeah, so I thought that was really cute. I think the packaging is really cute. I don't know what I'm going to do with it now. Um, I will probably re-gift it when I am done, like, you know, put a new gift in that for someone else. Um, on the Bath and Body Works, I got, um, this from a client. It is a really cute little pink bag, flowers on it, and, uh, and berries. And on the tag, it has a holder and the Wildberry Dahlia hand sanitizer. And... In the inside is the Wildberry and Dahlia um, kind of hand scrub, I guess. Um, yeah, deep cleansing hand soap. Um, it's glued to the thing. Um, the foaming, see glued. Uh, the foaming hand wash in that, and uh, I'm gonna bother right now. The um, body wash in the Wild blueberry tulips which I believe is what's on the cover is the on the on the bag it's tulips and wild berries so yeah I thought that was really sweet um I went to the Bath and Body Works the other day uh yesterday for my boxing week sale and I got a, a pump so I can use this with a hand lotion next to these so I thought that was really nice um I got um this uh Starbucks mug a very large Starbucks mug. It's kind of got a groove on the bottom so you could stack them if you had more than one. Sorry I need to do that. And uh, inside was a, a little bag of the Christmas blend and it's not ground up yet so that's great and it came with a gift card so I'm really happy about that because I like nice mugs and I like coffee. Um, another thing I got was uh, this a pack of Aurora Sia and it is the Euphoria Aromatherapy Bath and it's supposed to help moisturize and be good for sensitive skin. Um, in here are a bunch of homemade kind of tea bags, those um, loose knit tea bags and it's got hibiscus and rose hips and pineapple so it sounds like it's delicious. Um, and then I got this Crosswind Farms rose geranium with rose petals handcrafted goat milk soap and it smells so good um it smells like roses to me it smells like rose water like oh it smells so good uh and i love goat milk soap because it's so moisturizing so i'm excited to try that um i got this really cute umbrella which i guess has that pattern on it um and i needed a new umbrella so i'm very that's amazing. Um, my mother-in-law sent me this yoga mat bag. And, uh, yeah, I thought it's, it's nice. Um, she made me one before, and I only have one yoga mat. So I'm kind of like, I have two, two bags for one mat. And it's like, uh. Um, I also got, uh, these socks, which are the, like, uh, hiker socks. They're supposed to be really good for people on their feet all day and wick moisture away. Unfortunately, they're in size large, uh, which is like women's 10 to 13, and I'm like a size 5, so um, 
This happens every year with my dad, and I love him to death, and he knows I have small feet. I don't know why he keeps on buying this. Every year I end up giving my socks to Richard because um, it's men's 9.5 to 12, and he's like a 10.5, um, which just shows how ridiculously sized these are. And he's like, oh, you could just use them anyways. You could just use them. I'm like, of course you're saying that, Richard. You, you just want to keep them. So I'm going to see if I can exchange them. Um... My mother-in-law knit me these really cute middens. Um, she also knit me like an earband thing, you know, like a headband that covers your ears. Um, she also knit me, um, in some fancy wool that I don't know what it is, uh, a scarf and a hat. Um, and she also sent me this Joe Fresh lip balm set. And it goes from like a clear to like a luminescent and then a whole variation of pink and reds and browns. Um, and a lot seem to be creams, and then some are shimmery, and some are sparkly, so there's 10 in there. It's quite a variety. Um, yeah, that's a lot of lip glosses. <laughs> um, I got from a client uh, this, which is the Dior Backstage Brush Collection. It is the Professional Finish Fluid Foundation Brush. It comes in the... So it's uh, an angled, compressed kind of brush that is already shedding, and I've never used it. Um, I did read this, that it, these brushes um, are pricey, and they shed, which are two things that drive me irate. Um, but I didn't pay for it, but I think knowing it's Dior, I might be quite angry if it sheds much. Um, so it's compressed. I'm guessing you're supposed to use it to buff in foundation. I'm going to have to do some more reading on it. Um, I definitely find brushes meant for buffing, the compressed kind of bristles, um, if they're not made extremely well, shed more than your average brush because of the buffing motion. Um, I actually have this problem right now going on with a MAC Kabuki brush I got, um, in a limited edition set. Um, it sheds worse than any brush I've ever owned in my life, and, um, if I didn't buy it directly from MAC, I really would have questioned if it was a knockoff. And um, my $3 e.l.f. Kibuki doesn't shed as much. Anyways, I'm off topic. Um, I also got from a client this cute little coach um, clutch. It's got a little brat or gold color chain, a uh, little leather there, and a little leather tag. And then um, it's got a seam there, and then on the side it's all smooth with the logo. And it's got spot for two credit cards or cards in the inside. Um, I've just been keeping gift cards in it and receipts because of the shopping. But it's really soft and I really like it. Um, what else did I get? Uh, okay. I got this Flavor It. Uh, it's a glass water bottle with a plastic insert with like holes in it. So um, you can put fruit in it and have flavored water whenever you want. Um, I thought that was great. Um, inside it, my friend put a gift certificate for where me and Monty do agility. So Monty can go and I can continue to do agility, which is really fun. And uh, I'm extremely ecstatic about that. Um, my dad brought me back um, from Cambodia, this little box and inside it is a little jar of bath salts with lotus lotus scented basalts um this cute little scarf it's kind of uh blue and yellow and it goes like that at the end so it's really cute and um this little like uh, clutch little like little zipper bag um and oh yeah you know a little, nice little embroidered bag and in it are um two pink pearl earrings so, yeah, they're like slightly pink. They're really cute. Um, I actually really like those. So, yeah, I got those. And, okay, now I got that over. And then the final things I got were um, I got this David's Tea Around the World Tea Set, and it comes with 12 teas. Um, it comes with little descriptions of the teas on a card, 
and how much you need and how long you need to steep it at what temperatures. And they're not gigantic, but I think they're a great size um, to try out a whole bunch of different teas. And actually, since you use so little tea, I think like when you're making a cup, I think it's going to be great. And there's like ones like Organic Breakfast and Dragon Pearls and Creme Brulee and Chocolate Rocket Organic. And I don't know. I'm going to have fun with tea for a while. And then the last thing I got was from my coworker was this little croissette. Uh, and um, oh, and she also gave us a whole bunch of spice rub thingies for making food, which is fun. Now, the croissette is a very expensive like enamel pots and pans and stuff. Um, and she said, gave us this green um, trivet. And, uh, oh, one of those. They're supposed to have plastic on the, the feet, but only one of them does. So it doesn't scratch your table or whatever surface it's on. Huh. Oh, well. I mean, it's still got everything else on it. Um, so it's a trivet. So it's supposed to hold things and keep the hot pans from... Uh, destroying your uh, countertops or tables or whatever. Uh, it's really pretty trivet. Um, it's going to look gorgeous, so I'm very excited for that too. Um, okay, so that's everything I got for Christmas. Um, Boxing week, I did go a little nuts. I went and got myself a Lululemon coat. It was on sale for $99. It's just like a cold weather coat, not like a, a winter coat. Um, I also got uh, a hoodie from Under Armour because uh, there was a sale on Under Armour, 20% um, off, and they rarely go on sale. And at Express, I got some shirts and I got a really cute purse. Let me show you the purse. It's a very large yellow purse with a short handle, but it also has a full handle. Um, and everything at Express is 40% off this week. So, um,. I got a good deal on that, and then I got a whole new comforter set, so I gotta put that on the bed today. Um, so that's, yeah, that's what I got, and I hope uh, Santa was good to you guys. I hope you've had a happy holidays. Um, I hope you had a great time shopping if you're going Boxing Week shopping, and if you're um, celebrating the New Year, I hope you have a happy and safe New Year, and uh, see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.